In the last race, we took the race into the mobile dimension. This time, we're taking the race anywhere where anybody is. We need to go that route. We, we, it's, not, it's no choice. We need to provide the opportunity for our audience to follow the race in their pocket. Really, what we were looking for is bring that experience right down to the handset. So really keep them in touch with the race in almost real time. So if you're out with your friends, you're on the street, you're in a bar, you're at a restaurant, you want to know what's happening on the race, you don't want to wait till you go home and log on, you want to do it there and then. People that have never been in a sailboat are doing this, which is amazing. And it's a complete new audience, which we probably didn't have 20 years ago. One of our surprises in the last race was the impact of video. We actually, in the last race, saw the start of, of people's desire to receive TV anywhere. I use it myself. I have a phone myself, which I use on airplanes sometimes to show people the race and show them video clips and presentations. In this race, we have integrated completely into the editorial process uh, of Volvo Ocean Race. And with that comes the richness of all the multimedia production that they are so brilliant at. We receive the material from the boats and it goes straight from literally landing on our servers from the satellites into a TV studio. It's turned around and it's pushed out. It's uploaded to the web and we're online. It's literally that quick. So we're talking about if we're receiving material at 10.30 from the boats, it can be on the news feed by 11 and it can be on the web by 11.05 if not earlier.